As veterinarians, euthanasia is something that we have to face and be capable, confident, competent to perform each day and sometimes multiple times in a day. I think something that we need to acknowledge is that we have a unique position in society with our proximity with death. There really isn't any other profession where, certainly not a caring profession, where you see it as up close and personally as a veterinarian does. And by that I mean you know, we, in, we in, induce it. Doctors don't do that. And I think there is a small, almost imperceptible impact on us each time we do that. Now that is not to say it can't be a beautiful thing. That's not to say it isn't the right thing to do in a lot of cases. But I think it's important to acknowledge that it's a big deal. So what we do as veterinarians is we tend to numb out to an extent. We compartmentalize and in the moment in the exam room what's important for us is to get the job done because the last thing we want is an animal to have a, a poor end to its life, to be in further more distress than it needs to be. And so we're, we're, what we've gotten is very, very good at compartmentalizing the action itself from the emotion that goes with that action. So we're in this room, it's always highly emotionally charged. Um, and we have to be the rock that gets the job done in that moment. And that's great. That's important for us to be able to do that. And certainly my own experience afterwards is then I allow myself to connect with that emotion and sometimes that means you weep with the pet owner. Sometimes that means you tell a story or you listen to them um, tell a story and reminisce about their pet. And that's all, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a really helpful thing for everyone to experience that. But I think a, a deeper and possibly darker side to that is that we do have this very intimate relationship with death um, and you know the moment when that animal transitions from being alive to dead I'm willing to bet most practitioners can put their finger on that exact moment and it's there's a flicker in the eyes it just goes out um, and I think there is certainly I've experienced there's just part of you that there's just a little bit of it's not regret, it's not feeling bad, but there's an impact and it's not a positive impact at doing that. And so I think just numbing that out is a problem for us. And if you just let little things, imperceptible things that are a big deal build up, then eventually you're shaping for a, some sort of road traffic accident of some kind in a, in a mental sense. I am fascinated by the link between our proximity to death and the fact that we commit suicide and we seem to readily go to that dark space and go over that line four times more frequently than any other profession. There is no documented evidence that there's a link between these things but certainly in my own mind and I'm not saying here that I have suicidal thoughts, I don't, but I certainly carry I have noted that I've carried baggage, and some euthanasia is much more than others, um, from having to perform an act, particularly in circumstances where there were economic reasons for having to do that. And that is something that we all as veterinarians have to be able to square that away psychologically um, and be able to discuss these things openly. And I, I have concern that there's a link between that and, and our um, deeper, darker side and uh, of depression and, and mental illness.